You remember that during the offseason, when New Orleans Pelicans' Zion Williamson's foot injury was first reported, a lot of people asked the logical question, when will he be back? This resulted in Pelicans executive David Griffin assuring fans that Williamson would be back in time for the regular season. However, not only did the season begin a long time back, but it is also about to come to its climax, without a single sign of Williamson. And so what you expect is now confirmed. The Pelican Zion Williamson is not expected to play this season, despite making progress on his injured foot. The Injury You already know that Zion Williamson is a strong young man, and sometimes that could mean he's too strong for his own good. At the end of September 2021, it was reported that the former Duke basketball standout had managed to injure himself once again because of his own determination and strength. You'd never have believed it, but at the New Orleans Pelicans media day that month, Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations David Griffin revealed that Williamson had broken a bone in his foot last summer while working out, of all things. At the time, Williamson also came out and told reporters about the injury during the press conference, stating that he was working out too hard because of his having a chip on his shoulder for the upcoming season. Injuries, of course, are no stranger to Williamson, with him also having sprained his knee after bursting through his shoe at the start of the Duke vs. North Carolina game at Cameron Indoor Stadium. He played in only 24 games during his rookie season thanks to a meniscus tear, and his 2020-2021 season was halted early because of an injury to his thumb. Last season, though, the former number one overall pick did manage to participate in 61 out of 72 games. Committed Also over last summer, reports began to surface that Williamson and his family had been developing a kind of a problem with the front office at the Pelicans. This was due to the minutes restriction he found himself being put on during his rookie season after he had even then just returned from injury. However, when Williamson was asked about his commitment to the organization and absolutely reaffirmed his commitment to the Pelicans, answering the query he stated categorically that, I love it here. I love the city of New Orleans. I don't want to be anywhere else. It's all love with me and Griff, referring to Griffin. We're both competitors. We both want to win. Do we disagree on some things? Yeah, who agrees on everything? But I think that's what makes our relationship great, how we both bring the best out of each other. Griffin added that his timeline should get him back on the court in time for regular season. So far, so good then, and it seemed that he would be returning to the team for the new season when it started. But come October, he was nowhere to be found. No sign of him at all. The entire season has been played, and with it about to end, there has still been absolutely no sign of Williamson. This past week, the Athletics' Sham Sharania confirmed what many have seen to be the writing on the wall for this season as far as Zion is confirmed, that he is not expected to return to the court for New Orleans this season. Ongoing Problems Back in January of the new year, 2022, it was announced that Williamson would be continuing his rehabilitation away from the team while remaining under the close observation and supervision of the Pelicans medical team. The announcement came from Griffin saying, Since we notified everyone on December 16th of his latest imaging, it was decided then by our medical team to dial his rehab back to only partial weight-bearing activities. He continues along that path. We also agreed that in order to put Zion in the best position to succeed, he will rehab away from the team at this time so he can focus on the task at hand. Williamson spoke out also saying that, as you can imagine, this has been a very difficult process for me. I know there's work to be done in my recovery before I can safely return to the court, but I will continue to put the time in necessary so I can get back on the floor with my team and represent Pelicans fans and the city of New Orleans at the highest level. Basketball means everything to me, and I am thankful for the Pelicans organization and everyone who has surrounded me with love and support throughout the journey. My family, friends, teammates, coaches, staff, fans, and everybody who has stood behind me and uplifted me when I needed it most. Jaded? The Pelicans and Williamson mutually agreed then that it would be best for him to work on his rehab away from the distractions of the team and the Pels even arranged transportation on Gail Benson's private jet 
for him to head to Oregon and continue there. However, by the end of January, Christian Clark of the New Orleans Advocate gave a troubling report about the status of Williamson's rehab. In the report, Clark stated that Williamson had been rehabbing, but with his own ex-LSU strength coach Jasper Bibbs, who was fired last August after less than two months at the university. Apparently, no officials from the Pelicans actually accompanied Williamson on the trip. It hasn't been a good period for the Pelicans and Williamson, with reports scrutinizing his work ethic and weight. Pelicans beat writer Jake Madison said that Williamson had been skipping workouts in his rehab and actually fell asleep during a team film session. There were a lot of other concerns around this time too, with reports that Williamson had let his eating habits get out of control, which had caused him to gain weight. It wasn't going well with members of Williamson's family also reportedly interfering in his relationship with the team. Return? Griff shared an update on Williamson back in February that Zion continues to progress well, anecdotally at least. He feels very good. However, it did seem by early March that Williamson was returning to New Orleans after his time in Portland with Sharania tweeting that Williamson is cleared to progress in basketball activities. However, the former number one draft pick did not then continue, appearing to have been shut down from basketball activities again. He has yet to don the Pels colors and make it onto the court as he continues to recover from foot surgery. On April 5th, just last week, Williamson's stepfather said that he still expected to see him play this season, even though there are just two games remaining. Lee Anderson, Zion's stepfather, added that if you were to ask Zion, I'm sure he would probably say the same thing. But with just a couple of games left, with the magnitude of what's going on in New Orleans and the opportunity to qualify for the play-in game and possibly get into a seven-game series, that would be off the charts in the city of New Orleans. That would be a plus in New Orleans. That would be a plus for Zion with the way things are right now. Do I expect him to play? Certainly, I do. That's on me, though. That's purely me. I don't think there's anything else that would hinder him from doing that right now. The Situation the Pelicans are currently in ninth place in the Western Conference despite Williamson's absence. Their three-game lead over San Antonio and Portland have made them a shoe-in for the play-in round at the very least. Two more wins, one against the dying Lakers and another against a high-seed opponent, would see them reaching the playoffs. Without Williamson around for the Pels to reach the playoffs would be no small achievement, but the team still has a long way to build a sustainable contender around him. And while he is eligible for a contract extension this offseason, there could be a certain hesitation from both sides to pursue one, especially after we've heard about his flagging work ethic and attitude. Now this, of course, also fails to factor in just how tired the Pelicans might be of a player who gets injured often, has chips on his shoulder, and let himself get out of shape. Something may well be going on here that stops him from ever returning to the Pels, such as contract disputes, attitude issues, potential lapses in allegiance, or just another injury for the overzealous star. But for the time being, barring a surprise, we should be able to expect to see him on the court for New Orleans by the start of next season. Hopefully he will shake off this miserable period and come bursting back onto the court with a boom. What do you think about this situation?